The Las Vegas Raiders are struggling, to say the least. They can't figure out which quarterback to start because they both kind of suck. And frankly, this team needs a serious overhaul. The Raiders haven't won a Super Bowl since 1984. That was 40 years ago. But today, that's all going to change. I'm going to take over as head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders and bring this team back to the Super Bowl. And listen, Raiders fans, I know pain. I mean, you can see it right here on my wall. And I think the hallmark of a team that's struggling is poor drafting. And I just want to show you the last 10 picks from the Las Vegas Raiders in the first round. 2014 and 2015 were amazing. Khalil Mack and then Amari Cooper. Both of these guys, of course, are no longer Raiders. And then it went really downhill. 2016, Carl Joseph. 2017, Garyon Conley. 2018, Colton Miller. 2019, Clellan Farrell with round one pick four. Josh Jacobs, stud, no longer a Raider. Jonathan Abrams. 2020 will go down as probably the worst draft ever for the Raiders, and it wasn't really even their fault. Henry Ruggs, Damon Arnett, and I won't give you the context because you probably know already. 2021, Alex Leatherwood. He was so bad, he got cut. 2022, they didn't have a pick. 2023 was Tyree Wilson. 2024, Brock Bowers. So those last two look solid right now, but you get my point. This team's a 78 overall, one of the lowest in Madden 25. But of course, as with any NFL team, there is a silver lining. Offensive line is a bit ugly, but Brock Bowers, I think Brock Bowers is such a bright spot on this team. He's looking great in the league right now. He's already an 81 overall. He's hidden dev. This is a guy that could be a staple of this franchise in the future. And defensively, you have one of the best edge rushers in the entire NFL, Mad Max Crosby. He's 27 years old out of Eastern Michigan. He's a 97 overall superstar X Factor. Obviously, he's incredible. I really hope that we can retain him on this team when we make it to the Super Bowl, though, because realistically, he might have three more years playing at a really high level, maybe six more years playing at a, a good level. And with um, the guy on my jersey, Devontae Adams, no longer a Raider now, Jacoby Myers is wide receiver one on this team. Yeah, I said there's a silver lining, but I'm gonna be honest. This team really sucks. I'm just gonna call it for how it is. You kind of have a QB battle between Gardner Minshew and Aiden O'Connell, but frankly, I don't think either of these guys are the franchise QB. I think this first year is just gonna suck, and we've got to pick up a really solid quarterback in the upcoming draft. I think that's that's really all we can do here. Madison and Zamir White are both just okay. I like Nate Hobbs. I like Trayvon Morick. <laughs> this might be the worst team in the game, actually. Good special teams unit, though. Daniel Carr Carlson and AJ Cole. It's a good, it's a good special. Dude, we're so, this team's so bad. Our week one game is against the Chargers. I think we do need to hop in and just see just how bad it is. I really, really, really hope that nobody paid money to go see this game. Chargers fans are ecstatic about their first win here in SoFi Stadium, but this was a snooze fest. I pray you didn't bet the over. I, you know, when I sim games, I usually try to wait for like a cool moment so that we can step in and watch. We never even got in the red zone. We just lost 13 to zero. Uh, Gardner Minshew with a 38 point. 4 QBR, 10 for 24, threw an interception and 100 yards. On the ground, Alexander Madison had 18 yards. Gardner Minshew had 20. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, Raiders fans. This is so ugly. But rest assured that we are going to turn this around. It's obviously going to be an ugly year though. We're 2-5 and five at midseason. I made season one quick on purpose because we knew it was going to be horrible. Uh, We're 5-12. and 12. Statistically, Gardner Minshew actually threw for 4,300 yards. Granted, he brought Probably had to throw every single game the whole time because we were always losing. 28 touchdowns, 22 interceptions. This is a Jameis Winston set line. This is not good. Madison was, I mean, I'm just gonna say he's horrible. 3.2 yards per carry is trash. He got in the end zone 10 times, I guess. Jacoby Myers went for 1,100 yards and six touchdowns though. So that's a solid season for our number one guy. Uh, Trey Tucker at 947 and four. DJ Turner at 945 and seven. And this is what I am excited about. Good season for Brock Bowers, 826 and seven. Realistically, I mean, Brock Bowers, Jacoby Kobe Myers might be the only two guys on that offense that legitimately might stay. Max Crosby was excellent with 11 sacks. That's really good to see. Robert Spillane, 126 tackles. Damn. We had four interceptions out of him. Oh my God, look at the interceptions. Three out of Darnay Holmes, three out of Nate Hobbs, two out of Isaiah, two out of Jack Jones, two out of Trayvon Morick. It's a lot of interceptions. But let's be real, we didn't have a chance this season. So let's get into the draft and then free agency and see if we can make some significant adjustments early on. So in 2024, the Super Bowl, was Niners Ravens and the Ravens win 28-25. I would love to see the Super Bowl IRL and I'd love to see Super Bowl MVP Derrick Henry. Mahomes gets MVP, Lamar gets Offensive Player of the Year, TJ Watt Defensive Player of the Year and the Offensive Rookie is Keon Coleman. Edgerin Cooper of the Packers is Defensive Rookie of the Year. That's a cool season. So long as it's not the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, I am a happy camper. And yes, I am a full-blown hater. Why do you ask? All right. 
free agency. I don't think a lot of players are gonna be very interested in playing for us, understandably. But the cool thing is I literally could use any position. Any single player who wants to sign with us, I could take. Honestly, X Factor Nick Chubb for a season or two would not be bad. This would be kind of fun. I don't know that he's gonna come play for us, but we have the cap for it. He just doesn't care about this team. Not sure who else is interested though. Honestly, whatever quarterback we draft this year is gonna need some help. I would not hate a super washed DeAndre Hopkins. J just give him, give him somebody to throw to, right? Neither Nick Chubb or DeAndre Hopkins would play for us. God, we suck. Without aggressively overpaying, I couldn't land either of them. And that's probably a good thing because let's save our cap for when we can make a legitimate move and legitimately compete. Damn, this is actually a really hard rebuild. I didn't think this one was gonna be this bad. I mean, even Panthers was easier than this. We have round one pick four. Now I'm not worried about trading up because there's three good quarterbacks and Los Angeles is not gonna take a quarterback. Oh shit, wait a minute. Los Angeles did take a quarterback, but luckily the Patriots took a right tackle. Yeah, they have Drake May. They're not gonna take a quarterback here. So this is good. Daniel Butler and Kate Ellington go. There's one more really good quarterback in here, and it's this guy right here, Denard Barker. I did scout him. He's a top five talent. His deep, medium, and short accuracy are all A's. His ratings are okay. Solids, goods, and greats. So he is the second fastest QB in the 40-yard dash, so maybe this guy's kind of fast. Best case scenario, he's hidden dev. If we get a hidden dev quarterback right out the gates, this is gonna be a great day. The moment of truth, gentlemen. Here comes Denard Barker? Or Baker? I don't remember what his name was. I'm hoping he's better than Denard Robinson. Oh, it, it was Barker. Denard Barker, because he's a dog. Denard Barker, because he's a dog! Denard Barker was ranked five in true value, and you draft him at four. Remember, true value means they're overall compared to the entire draft class. Meaning, this is the fifth highest overall player in the entire draft class. This is a huge... Huge pickup, and we need it so bad. I'm sorry, Minshew lovers. I'm sorry, Aiden O'Connell lovers. All right, so he is hidden dev, which was the big one. I kind of figured he's five in true value, but he's actually kind of fast. I'm not used to seeing halfway fast quarterbacks. 86 speed, 84 excel, 85 change of direction, and 91 throw power. And he's a field general. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. So he's not even an improviser or scrambler, and he's 86 speed. That's really, really good. So that also means his accuracies are great. This guy's a dog. That is uh, the beauty of being five and 12 is you get a really nice draft pick. Our next pick should be at the start of the second round. Now, normally I'd say this is a little early to take a running back, but I hate having Madison and Zamir White in there. I'm kind of tempted to take somebody. Here's Nicholas Shepard out of Georgia. He's got elite change of direction and great speed with solid acceleration. He's an elusive back. I'm kind of tempted to take a second round running back. There's two other options. Here's DeAndre Lawrence, a receiving back out of Ohio State. Great speed and elite jumping. He could be okay. And finally, there's Marcus Holt out of UCF. Elite jumping, solid speed, elite acceleration. Remember on draft class this year, you can actually sort by their physicals. I think I gotta take Nicholas Shepard here. Nicholas Shepard out of Georgia. I'm hoping for at least 93 speed. This could be a really solid running back. It's always so funny to see what their auto-generated drip is. It's so bad. Where's Nick? Where's Nick Shepard? Look at head coach Matt Meigs in the war room. Nicholas Shepard all the way in Georgia. You're coming to Vegas, buddy. Get ready to gamble. Oh, shit! That's my dog! Nicholas Shepard's the second best player in the entire class. At least overall was. He has to be hidden dev. And what did I say? 93 speed, he's 93 on the dot. Oh shit, why did I think he was out of Georgia? He's out of Virginia. Fuck it. I do not know ball. 90 excel, 93 speed, 91 agility. He's a lefty. And his outfit is not horrible. Nicholas Shepard and Denard Baker, you are going to turn this program around. So help me God. All right, high third round pick. Honest to God, you just take the best player available here because this team is so bad bad that we could literally take anything. Scouting has become significantly easier when you can see people's physicals like right here. Because you know, when somebody's got a lot of greats and a lot of elites, there's such a good chance that they're a good player. I'm taking this left guard, Jabari Yates. I mean, this is a third round guard with elite, great, elite, great South. He's gotta be hidden dev. I, I really like that they added that addition. It was kind of tedious to like dig through players to see their physicals. Right here, I feel like I made a really good pick without spending 20 minutes clicking through menus. An 84 acceleration, hidden dev, agile left guard. I am going to move him to right guard because we're a little more shallow at that position. But um, so far, we've got three hidden dev players through the first three rounds. You couldn't ask for a lot more out of the first body draft. This is a bit risky, but here's a Mizzou wide receiver, Dimitri St. Louis. He's physical. We just need wide receivers on this team, and I didn't get anybody in free agency. I think we have to take this shot here. A B plus, 64 in true value, so good overall. Shit, he is normal dev, unfortunately. And he's kind of small for a physical wide receiver. 5'11", 
5'11 is weird. You'd think you'd be 6'3, 6'4 for that archetype. But uh, 95 jumping is crazy high. Or unfortunately, normal dev. Can't get them all. I'm gonna let the CPU take over from here. All right, draft recap. The first draft recap. I know it went well, but just how well? Oh my God, that's actually so beautiful. I love seeing this. So Denard Barker, one of the better quarterbacks I've ever drafted. 77 overall, field general with 86 speed. This guy's a beast. Nicholas Shepard, the second best player in the entire class. A 78 overall running back with 93 speed, 90 excel. Jabari Yates is a 73. And Dimitri St. Louis is a 72. You have the three picks here. Nothing special. Let's take a look at the entire draft class. It's like the best player in the class was Daniel Butler. He was round one pick two. So technically we could have traded up to get him, but I'm happy with Denard Barker. Didn't have to give up anything else either. Next best was Dylan Bullo at round one pick five, a corner. Nicholas Shepard, that's us. And Denard Barker, that's us. To see the Raiders to have two out of the top five picks is really exciting. There was a 99 speed wide receiver in the class and he went in the seventh round. Lamar Lippett. Damn, that's OP. All right, headed into year two. Number one, Brock Bowers, 86 overall, and he's unlocked his dev trait. He is a superstar. So we could throw some abilities on him. I gave him Bruce. Bruiser, Steamroller, and Tireless Runner. These two are new abilities to Madden 25. I've never seen either. Ball carriers with this ability retain more of their forward momentum during tackles while traveling at high speeds. Interesting. I feel like uh, you shouldn't need an ability to do that. That's just how physics works, but... Tireless Runner, ball carriers with this ability are effective at recovering from attempted tackles regardless of their current stamina. That's a pretty cool one. Then I also gave him Bruiser for powerful truck and stiff arms. It is season one for Denard Barker. He is already a higher overall than Minshew or O'Connell ever were, so we already have a better QB situation, and he's a rookie. Hoping for a Jaden Daniels-esque season out of him. He's got good accuracies. 89 medium, 91 short as deep is not great, but then he's got good speed and excel. So yeah, he could be just like Jaden Daniels. Now we did get Christian Wilkins back, and then Robert Spillane's dev trait went up to star, as well as Jack Jones. So I still think, I mean, we obviously need a strong safety really bad on this lineup. Certainly could upgrade our linebackers. Certainly could upgrade our D tackles. Certainly could draft a corner, but it does look better than it looked last year. We're going to have one of the easiest schedules in the league because we were the fourth worst team last year. Probably won't have any primetime games because who wants to watch the Raiders? This could be a good season. My prediction is going to be 7-10. and 10. I wouldn't be upset with that. Hey, at midseason, we're actually, we have a winning record. We're 4-3. and three. That puts us just under the Chiefs in the AFC West, above the Chargers and the Broncos. Uh, Pittsburgh's 5-2. and two. Miami's 4-3. and three. Jacksonville is 4-3. and three. This is an interesting simulation so far. And Denard Barker unlocked a new ability. That means he's at least superstar. Oh, shit. Yo, this is how you turn a program around. Our round one pick four, Denard Barker is superstar. And our round two pick four, Nicholas Shepard came out the womb in X Factor. The rookie out of Virginia is an 82 overall elusive back. He's got negative drip, bro. He's got the mismatching shoes. He's got a white cleat and a black cleat. And he's superstar X Factor. I mean, yeah, he was the second best player in the class. But I think Madden 25, I think they buffed draft class because I'm not used to seeing X-Factors in the first round like I've seen this year. I'm gonna give him Steamroller as well. And I'll give him Goal Line Back because I love Goal Line Back. It's a fun ability. Holy shit. So Nicholas Shepard is gonna be a 99 overall fast. We just have to make sure we re-sign these guys to big contracts. Denard Barker. I mean, this is less shocking to me. He's round one pick four, but still it's amazing. The rookie out of Tennessee. Go Vols. I also just remembered we, we do have two good tight ends. That might be overkill. Brock Bowers is so good. And then Michael Mayer. This might be a a good trade option. Michael Mayer is a good young tight end out of Notre Dame, and we're just not really utilizing him. I wouldn't hate making a little midseason trade here. Defense looks virtually the same. I think this upcoming draft, we gotta focus on defense for sure, because the offense is gonna be in really good shape. Let's see if we can acquire some defensive talent for Michael Mayer. What is he worth? I mean, how do teams evaluate Michael Mayer? Young star tight end? D does anybody care? I'm honestly really happy about this trade. It's not like a blockbuster, but Baron Browning, 26 years old, star linebacker 78 overall for Michael Mayer who is getting no reps and a fourth round pick. My linebackers were ugly so I'm happy to have him. Baron Browning's also just super good in Madden. He is 87 speed 92 excel. Really like Baron Browning. Wow we do have a primetime game. Actually in week 14 we're 7 and 5. So we're actually kind of on the verge of the playoffs. We're coming off a win against the Giants and a win against the Patriots and the Chargers was the last game we watched. This is the one we got beat 13 to 0. Let's hop in and see how this game goes. This would be a early playoff push for this team. All right, let's get a rep or two, yeah? Christian Wilkins, Max Crosby. I actually want to pass rush with Max Crosby. This sounds fun. I never get to pass rush. Hey! Oh, I almost, I low-key almost, oh, he's still up. 
Damn, J.K. Dobbins. And they're going for it. On fourth and three, they're going for it. I'm on Max Crosby. We know he's passing. There's no way they hand this off, right? Oh my, oh, read option. And I missed. But Nate Hobbs is there. Oh, that was, that was Craig. <laughs> Dude, that was like our seventh round pick. Sorry, guys. I don't know how to use your D lineman. I feel like I could have made a lot better play there. But hey, we stopped them. Thursday night prime time. We got to get redemption, dude. All right, I'm going to step in and play one offensive drive. We got Denard Barker. We got Nicholas Shepard out of Virginia. This guy's a freak. An X Factor running back this early? Granted, I should be playing on this camera angle. I can't see shit. So at wide receivers, we've got the classics Brock Bowers, Jacoby Myers, Trey Tucker. But we also have Dimitri St. Louis now. I'm going to go right over the middle to Nicholas Shepard. He can't hang on to that one. Now, third and eight, we're going to need a big conversion. I can't forget I got 86 speed though. Will that be enough? Trey Tucker, nice catch. It is enough. It is so weird coming back and playing Madden after playing college football. This game sucks big time, but it is really fun to rebuild. I'm not going to pretend like I don't love a good rebuild. Shepard, Nick Shepard, come on. It is so satisfying to draft a good player and watch them ball out. In fact, as I say that, I'm going to give him another handoff. Bosa and Derwin James are over there. This might be risky, but those are great blocks. I believe in the Raiders. We're in Allegiant Stadium, boys. We got to show out for the home crowd. There's Dimitri St. Louis, and that's a bad ball out of Matt Maher. I would blame it on Denard Barker, but that's on me. All right, that's going to be all the input I can have. All right, I got us a stop, but I also turned the ball over. This is a slow, low-scoring game. It looks like Ellie's about to score. Let's, let's hop in and see. Oh, my God, dude. Uh, this is what I've learned from this sim. If the Chargers and the Raiders are playing, don't go to the game. It sucks. This might be the first touchdown of the entire game. Just kidding. It's not. This is so ironic too, because in real life, I just went to Chargers Cardinals and the Chargers had five field goals, no touchdowns. Maybe Madden is realistic. Second and goal, Herbert flushed out. Mad Max Crosby, you could get him, right? Third and goal. I can't believe they're not handing this ball off. Robert Spillane is just too intimidating there in the middle. Another pass. This time, they do get it. And honestly, the fans are just happy there's a touchdown between these two teams. Quick touchdown on McCole Hardman, who is now a Charger. With two minutes and 30 seconds left. Denard Barker, the rookie. A legacy drive here. If he can convert it, Barker, wide open, is Nicholas Shepard. Now first and 10. Denard Barker finds the check down. Second and six. Denard Barker, another pass. This one to Jacoby Myers. It's third and five. A field goal does the Raiders no good. So we're in four down territory here. I was going to say, I wouldn't be shocked to see... Oh, nice catch. I was going to say I wouldn't be shocked to see a run, but Trey Tucker, five catches, 70 yards. Raiders use a timeout here, which is kind of shocking. You'd think we'd want to use this whole clock, but who knows? There's another one. Dude, we're just lighting him up with these low passes. Jacoby Myers catches this one. Another timeout by the Raiders. Why are we calling timeouts? You take the lead with no time left. You win the ball game. We're going to, oh my God, we're going to score here to Brock Bowers, but we just gave the Chargers a minute 13 and three timeouts. That was poor clock management. A very clutch touchdown out of the rookie, but poor clock management. Now, I hate to be that guy that says I'm a genius and I was totally right, but uh, what do you know? The Chargers march all the way down and Quentin Johnston's going to take it to damn near the end zone. First and 10 with 20 seconds left. I was going to say, you almost kicked this right now. Yeah, that's just weird. Why, why you would give the Chargers that much time is beyond me. But I guess we have a timeout in 17 seconds now. In overtime, Chargers start with the football. Remember, this is regular season NFL football. Meaning if they score a touchdown, the game is over. But this is third and six. So they need another huge conversion here. And it's wide open. We're going to lose this game. We're honestly going to lose this game off of horrible clock management. Why are we calling timeouts when we got five yards to the end zone? Coach Matt Meeg sold this one. Just going to be honest, he did. And this is a crucial game, too. We may not make the playoffs now. Yeah, you could just feel that touchdown coming. Justin Herbert throws a laser. This is not playoff football, so we don't get a rebuttal. GG's. The Chargers once again take down the Raiders. But hey, we gave the fans a better game. This one went to OT. I will say, though, you know, I threw an interception with Denard Barker, and that was his only interception, so he was pretty solid. Herbert was much better, though. 18 for 22, 200, two touchdowns. On the ground, Nick Shepard was okay. Dobbins sucked, and um, the Chargers come out with a W. That game proved to be crucial to our playoff chances, because in the 20. 25 wild card we just miss it a record of eight and nine i did predict seven and ten so eight and nine is not bad that one win though we beat the chargers there we're nine and eight we do make the playoffs so that that does suck to see but that's okay i don't think this team was ready anyway and honestly really good season though denard barker 28 touchdowns 15 interceptions 4,000 yards it's a really solid season shepherd was so much better than madison he almost got a thousand yards not quite but almost 10 touchdowns denard barker nine touchdowns on the ground
he might get Offensive Rookie of the Year because of that. I'm not sure, but we'll see. 951 out of Trey Tucker, 885 out of Dimitri St. Louis, and 860 out of Jacoby Myers. Brock Bowers, another great season, 11 times in the end zone. Defensively, it was a really slow year for Max Crosby, and this is kind of what I was worried about because he's getting older. He's still really good. This is just a slow year anyway. And three interceptions and one out of Spillane. Defensively, we were a lot worse this year. Oh, gosh, this game's so lame, bro. It's the same teams every time. Niners Chiefs Super Bowl in 2025. Uh, the Niners won, though, so I do like to see that. Talano Hufanga gets Super Bowl MVP. Offensive Rick of the Year is Tommy Barnett, a wide receiver for the Titans. So DeAndre Barker did not... Did I just make up his name again? Denard Barker did not get it. Dude, I'm so bad with names recently. I, I am getting to unk status that's crazy now we do have so much salary cap available but let's keep something in mind denard barker and nicholas shepherd are gonna want giga contracts not to mention brock bowers is now a superstar x factor he's gonna want a big contract too so i do want to make moves in free agency but i don't want to be so aggressive that i can't re-sign on my best guys mark andrews is available we certainly do not need him charvarius ward we really do need a corner and he's looking to play for one single year you know what? Yeah. Nate Hobbs, Jack Jones, and Charvarius Ward. Let's see if we can get him for two years, because he'll still be really good next year. He might take a dev trait hit, but we could pick up Charvarius Ward. We got a, a very a very competitive offer there. Oh my god, Jamison Williams? Yo, I would love J-Mo. J-Mo's only 25, 98 speed, one of the fastest wide receivers in this game. He has no interest in Las Vegas, though. Like, negative. Ironically, the dude got suspended for gambling. Come on down to Vegas, buddy. I'm gonna give him a very player-friendly offer. And I I think Waymo's gonna want to play in Las Vegas when he sees the money that he we're offered. I don't think any amount of money is gonna get us to Waymo. Unfortunately, we do sign Charvarius Ward. Oh my God, we got him! Oh my God, we got him! It cost me 11 mil a year for six years to get Waymo though, which is insane. But it's really not. We have franchise QB, we have franchise running back, franchise tight end, and we're gonna work on our defense in this upcoming draft. We now have a super weapon for Denard Barker. Yeah, I mean in real life is Jamison Williams like one of the best wide receivers in the league? No, but in and he has 98 speed, 96 acceleration. This guy's gonna be a freak. That is a really nice free agency. Charvarius Ward and Jamison Williams. Still got 70 million cap, so we're fine. Now for this draft, we have round one pick 16 right in the middle of the pack in the NFL. Looking for defense and the best available edge rusher does look solid. Glenn Dowling. Elite Excel, great change direction, great jumping, and then goods and everything else. So all of his intangibles are at least solid. This should be a hidden dev edge rusher. He's B plus, 85 in true value is really not that good, but left ends are not usually a high overall. He is in dev, 80 speed, 85 strength, 89 excel. This guy's great. This is so weird because I just got Jamison Williams, but oh my God, this guy looks like a freak. Deion Saunders. It's not Deion Sanders. It's Deion Saunders. Three elites and great speed. We are giving Denard Barker a lot of weapons. Triple elite on a wide receiver. He had, oh my God, no negative drip. Made it Wait a minute. We might've just made a huge mistake. He does have insane stats. 93 speed, 95 excel, and he's hidden dev. So it is a good pick. I just don't know. I said I was going to go all defense, and then I end up taking a wide receiver there. I'm going to take a shot here on a corner. Max Lindsay. 93 excel, 94 jumping, 89 speed. He's 6'3". I wanted this guy to be hidden dev so bad. He's normal dev. All right, year three draft recap. Nah, not nearly as good as last draft, but also a later pick. Dowling's a 72. Saunders actually ended up being a really solid pick. This dude is a 75 overall hidden dev with really really good stats. Lindsay was trash. Big whiff right there. James Escobar. We got Pablo Escobar's son. He's a normal dev rookie out of Utah. Let's see where we whiffed. How good was this class? This is actually a pretty good class. Brian Amaro, 81 overall wide receiver. Daniel Conley, 79 overall corner. That's ah, not that good of a class. All right, the start of year three lineup. The Raiders are looking a lot better. Max Crosby, our best player. Next best is Charvarius Ward now. Brock Bowers is up to an 89. Colton Miller still looking really good. Nick Shepard up to an 80. 87. Christian Wilkins is an 86. Him and Crosby are right at the point where they're gonna start regressing, unfortunately. But I think we'll be all right. J-Mo's in there now. Denard Barker's in there. Nate Hobbs. Andre James. So the offensive line is really good, too. We have depth at wide receiver. Defense is progressing really well. This team should very well have a winning record this season. This is a good-looking team. I think we just develop our quarterback hatback a little bit more, and then we're really competitive. An awesome trade just came through. Uh, Cater Kohu for Trey Tucker. I 
I want depth at corner, and Trey Tucker is pretty useless on this team right now. Because we got J-Mo, Jacoby, and Deion Saunders, not Sanders. So I'm taking that. Deja vu, anyone. The 2026 season, the exact same record, eight and nine. Kansas City went 15 and two. New England went 0 and 17. Max Crosby was 16 sacks though. He was number three in sacks. He's tied with Micah Parsons and Greg Rousseau. That's really cool. Doesn't look like we're in any other statistical category. I'm hoping that this was a statistically better season if we're gonna have the same record. Obviously it was for Max Crosby and it was for Denard Barker too. 4,000 yards again, but 33 and 15. He's definitely improving. Did Shepard get over 1,000? He did. 1,112. Barker got in five times. That's really good, too. That's exciting. Receiving J-Mo, the new threat, 969 and three. Jacoby, 947 and five. Whoa. That has to be Offensive Rookie of the Year. Deion Saunders out of Washington State. He's the Cougar. He's also ethnically ambiguous. And what is this guy? Is he Filipino? 919 and 14 touchdowns. Holy shit, Deion Saunders. He's star dev, 80 overall deep threat. And something tells me he's going to be superstar at the end of this season because that's got to be Offensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, defensively, look at the sack numbers. Max Crosby, 16. Christian Wilkins, 12. That's nuts. Two interceptions out of Diablo, Spillane, Charvarius Ward, and Jack Jones. That is crazy. Mahomes gets MVP. Yes, this game's so original. We love it. Um, offensive rookie of the year. Oh my God. How on earth did Greg Norris, whoever you are, how did you do better than Deion Saunders? Who is Greg Norris? And why is his legacy score 2,570 as a rookie? Who the fuck is Greg Norris? No, I need to... Is this man related to Chuck? Holy shit. Greg Norris, rookie out of Wisconsin, just threw for 4,655 yards, 45 touchdowns, and only 11 interceptions as a rookie? He's a 6'5", 230-pound, strong-arm quarterback superstar. This guy's a dog. He's bald as shit, too. You're 21 and you're bald like that? That's Michael Jordan of the NFL. Oh, my God. All right. Hey, listen, Deion Saunders, that's not your fault. Also, Mahomes threw for 5,000 yards, which is absolutely disgusting. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm going to recite Brown with a 6 1,500 yard season though, and 21 touchdowns. Amari Cooper with 1,423. What happened this season? Jesus, everybody went ballistic. All right, well, if it wasn't for generational quarterback Greg Norris, I think we would have won of as a rookie of the year, but whatever. Um, The Panthers made the Super Bowl. Yes, I repeat, the Panthers made the Super Bowl. Granted, they lost, but they made it. Kansas City Chiefs win. Like, hey, EA, if the Chiefs make it every single fucking time, maybe should we just update the playbooks like for once in the last five years? Golly. Lee, man. For the record, I am not using Kansas City Chiefs offensive play. Free agency. Sam Laporta's just sitting in there. Honestly, would be fun, but Brock Bowers is too damn good, man. No need. Uh, Laramie Tunsil will be all right, but I'd only pick him up for one year, and I don't know if we're Super Bowl yet. I think two years from now, we should have a good push. I may just save for next year's free agency. Yeah, this isn't a particularly good free agency anyway. I'm just gonna head to the draft. I'm thinking about trading away this first round pick, but I gotta look at the lineup. So Barker and Shepard, 88-92. They're getting a lot better. Wide receivers look great. Offensive line really does look... I mean, it looks super solid. Munford could be a little bit better, but I'm not gonna get picky here. I mean, we got a solid 80 overall offensive line. Defensively, Dowling looks okay. Ward, Jones, and Hobbs. Kind of wasting Cater Kohu, though. Maybe that trade wasn't totally worth it. Morrigan Craig look good. I mean, ooh, we lost Baron Browning. I thought I had re-signed him, but I must have missed that. And Spillane is getting worse. We need a backer. Maybe a really good middle linebacker would be nice. Spillane is... Was putting in so much work for us. And now he's 31. Yeah, we need a middle linebacker, huh? See if we can pick up an elite middle linebacker for our first round pick. I really like this trade. So the Broncos will move us, Drew Sanders, for Bobby Spillane and our second round pick. Drew Sanders, number one, has an upgrade available. So we're going to give it to him. Field general, block shedding, main coverage, play rec, and tackle. Most importantly, he's 25 years old and he's a superstar. So he's only going to get better and better. He's a high overall upgrade. He's six foot five, 200. 33 pounds. That's the centerpiece of our defense for a long time coming. I'm really excited about that. I feel like we got him for pretty cheap. A superstar middle linebacker is not easy to come by. I think a D tackle would be nice because we are in a 3-4. So a really good D tackle might be on my radar and an outside linebacker, but this team looks really good. Not to mention, we still have our first round pick. So I can take either of those positions right now. Oh, uh, I got a slightly higher pick this time. Can we get a D tackle or an outside linebacker? Oh boy. Dude, what's with the Deons? The Deons want to play for us. Look at Deion Shields. Left outside linebacker 
which is exactly what we're looking for. Elite jumping, elite acceleration, great speed. And he's in the first round. This guy's got to be a beast. 30 in true value, hidden dev, 84 speed, 91 excel, 6'2", 260. Stud. It's a great pick. Now, we just traded our second round pick for Drew Sanders. I'm going to let our CPU clean this one up. All right, a little draft recap here for 2026. Deion Shields is a stud in Ben Massey. Yo, didn't I have somebody named Bobby Massey? I've done so many rebuilds, it's hard to say, but dude, they got me another middle linebacker, and he's a dog. That is super weird. It doesn't even say hidden dev. He just gets star right out the gates, I guess. That's got to be new to Madden 25, because I've never seen that before. But the CPU gave me Ben Massey, an 87 speed, 87 tackle, 87 hit power, 87 acceleration. This guy is really good. Rookie out of Florida. So he'll go right next to Drew Sanders. Well, we just completely revamped the linebackers on this team, which is honestly nice, too, because Max Crosby is certainly getting older. We're not going to have him at a high level for too much longer. The whole class, we have now seen the highest overall player so far, Junior Kinney. Man-to-man -man corner out of LSU with 97 speed. That guy's a freak. He's also the fastest player in the class. Look at how far this team has come already. So, week one, Monday night primetime of 2027. Raiders, 88 offense, 83 defense. Let's take a look at this lineup. This is going to be one of our best seasons. It's got to be. So, offensively, Nick Shepard, 92 overall. He's only two years in the league. This dude's a night. Dude, he's such a beast. I love this dude. Barker looks great, too. Brock Bowers, rocking superstar X Factor. And at wide receivers, we got Jacoby Myers, Waymo, Deion Saunders, and Dimitri St. Louis. Defensively, so many adjustments today. And apparently, Deion Shields is also a superstar. Yeah, they had to have buffed draft classes. Like, I'm not even shocked anymore. They're just, everybody's a beast. Yeah, linebackers just got wicked good. Ben Massey, Deion Shields, Drew Sanders, Max Crosby, Craig and Morig look great. Charvarius Ward, Jack Jones, and Hobbs. Christian Wilkins, Glenn Dowling. These teams are so good. And for the record, I want to show everyone this because I know you're going to say something if I don't show you. Draft class strength, not adjusted. Sometimes I like to adjust these because it's fun to try and play on all, you know, all weak or all strong. But this is fully normal. I think Madden 25 just has more stars and superstars in the draft classes. That or I'm actually built different. All right, the season openers against the Vikings. I really haven't had a lot of opportunities to play with this team. I'm going to play all the moments in our season opener here against the Minnesota Vikings. All right, first moment. My defense needs a little bit of help. And here's the brand new Las Vegas Raider, Drew Sanders. We got to run to the edge, and I'm making plays. Let's go. I'm on the rookie, Ben Massey. Do the Vikings run the football again? They sure do. There's Max Crosby and Drew Sanders. Here we go. Five wide for J.J. McCarthy. It's weird seeing J.J. McCarthy because I'm so used to Sam Darnold as a Viking. First and goal. Dude, Sam Darnold's playing so well. I wonder what is going to happen when J.J. comes back. All right, I'm hopping on Drew Sanders. Probably another run. They love the I-form run here in Minnesota. Oh, it's play action. What's the play? What's the play, JJ? Hey, he tries to escape. Can't get it. Second and goal. Do they run this ball up the middle? I got to be ready with Trayvon Morrig in case this is inside zone. It's not. This is a pass. We've got numbers. And that's a flag. Illegal touching. He stepped out of the back of the end zone. Gritty all you want, Justin Jefferson. That ain't no tutty. All right, they lose the down, but they don't lose any yards. It's third and goal. They may run this football. We got to be ready for the run. The run's going to be hard to stop. There it is. Pitch right side. Like I said, man, that run can be hard to stop. Max Crosby was the guy to stop that, and he couldn't quite get there. All right, 7-0, to zero, we're going to take over. We got Barker, Bowers, Saunders, Myers, Jamo, Shepard. I just got to give Brock Bowers a chance. Good ball. Better catch. That was well defended, but a great ball. All right, now first and goal. What do we got? Denard Barker trying to get around the edge. Not going to happen. Second and goal. I think this is where we got to use Nicholas Shepard. Nicholas Shepard is too good to not get the football here with six yards to go. Nick Shepard powering forward. I don't know how he got down to the one there, but he did. I think we run it right back inside zone once again. It's a solid offensive line. We spent a lot of time on this offensive line. And that's exactly why Nicholas Shepard makes it easy. Seven to seven. All right, still seven to seven. We got a two minute drill here. First and 10. Ooh, tough throw, but he makes it. Second and five, nice work. Now second and five. Ooh, look at Brock Bowers finding an opening. Nice work. First and 10, a minute left. We got to move this football. Oh, Brock, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Ooh, a little out of bounds. A little too much sauce. Second and 10, who's on Brock Bowers? Two guys around Brock Bowers. Now third and 10. We're going to have to make a big play here. Where's J-Mo? Hey, this is why we got J-Mo on this team. J-Mo with 98 speed. Single coverage. I gave him a shot, but nothing's going there. This, this would be a turnover. I'm going for it. It's fourth and 10. Risky business. 
There's Saunders. Wow, four plays, couldn't get a single yard. Luckily at our next moment, the score is the exact same. This time it's third and four though. Just gotta make a big play here. I'm gonna go into Shepard. Gets rocked. Fourth and four, we're going for this. If I get the play, I'm gonna I'm gonna play how I would play it. By that I mean I'm gonna be a fucking idiot. Okay, that's like blatant DPI and they actually gave it to me. Wow, dude, I never see the game actually call this. That's awesome, because it totally was. First and 10, clean set of downs. Let's go into Nick Shepard. And we just got a holding. All right, we'll make up call for the refs there. I think we got to use Dion Saunders here, man. First and 10, uh-oh. Oh, did Barker get out of that? What a freak. That easily could have been a sack. I got to use my playmakers. I got to get Brock Bowers involved or J-Mo. These guys are too good to not have the football right now. There we go, Brock Bowers. That's what I'm talking about. It's exactly what we need. Third and eight. Let's run curls here. Looking for J-Mo. Hopefully they play J-Mo over the top and the curls there for him. It is. That's exactly what we wanted. They're scared of his speed. RPO zone alert Omaha. Let's give this... To Nicholas Shepard, who can't get it. Second and goal. Easy one for Brock Bowers. Keep the game simple. And we take the lead here on the Vikings. Vikings unable to score once again. And we can end the game right here. I'm gonna be kind of aggressive here, though. Ooh, J-Mo? This is literally why we put J-Mo on this team. Why is J-Mo number 84? I don't know. It's an aggressive number, J-Mo. But that's why we got him. 98 speed sometimes is just too OP, bro. It's fourth and eight. J.J. McCarthy and the Vikings in desperation mode. They need a whole lot right now. And that's not desperation mode. That's a dot. Oh my goodness. What are we doing? Another fourth down. This one, fourth and 17. Now fourth and 17. I'm hopping on Cater Kohu, who we got in the trade for Trey Tucker. And I'm blitzing and completely whiffing. And we're giving the Vikings a touchdown. Please don't tell me they get the onside kick, right? They did not get the onside kick. 14 to 21, dude. I'm not playing all too well, but it is. It's a season opener W. Great game out of Shepard, out of Brock Bowers, out of Denard Barker. This could be a really good season for us. I actually can't believe this. We just went 5 and 12 with this team. And I got us a win at the start. So we beat the Vikings and went on to lose the next 10 straight games. Are you shitting me? Lost the Bengals by a touchdown. Browns by a field goal, Steelers by a bit, Bears by a field goal, Chiefs by two, Chargers by a few, Chiefs by a touchdown, Jaguars by a touchdown, Ravens by a touchdown, barely beat the Jets and the Broncos, Chargers by a field goal, lost the Packers by two and the Lions by three. Dude, oh my God, the, the loss margin is so low here. It must have been a heartbreaking season for Raiders fans. We lost every game by damn near a touchdown or less. And most of the times less. It's just a few of these games go the other way. We're in the playoffs and said we're five and 12. This is a season to forget. Hey, luckily, we have a really talented roster, and we're going to have a really easy schedule next season. I'm going to keep this one quick. You know, it's weird, too, because Denard Barker had his, his best season. 4,435 and 15. I think we just kind of got unlucky, I guess would be the way to put it. Shepard didn't have his best season. Deion Saunders keeps going off, dude. 1,211. Bowers, Jacoby. J-Mo was, like, very ineffective this season. Damn, that was my big signing. I spent a lot on J-Mo. I may need to look into a different offensive playbook. I don't know that Raiders offensive playbook is going to do it for me, but I don't want to use Chiefs either because that's so lame. 10 sacks out of Crosby, 6 out of Glenn Dowling in his second year. 3 interceptions out of Drew Sanders. So the Drew Sanders trade ended up being very good. He had a ton of tackles, TFL sacks, interceptions. He was incredible. Played really, really well. We just got to look into a new offensive uh, offensive playbook. I've never ran Cincinnati Bengals offense, so I'm going to switch over to that. See what happens. I mean, listen, we just went 5-12 and 12 with the super talented roster. We might as well make a change like that. With my pick, round 1 pick five. I was thinking about trading this away, but we do need a right tackle. And look at how incredible this dude, Andrew Molds, looks. I mean, his lowest physical is strength, which is a pretty important one. But dude, this guy's a freak. That's a freak left tackle. Andrew Molton, you're lying, bro. That's ridiculous. This dude had an elite in almost every physical, a great in all the others, and he's normal death. Oh, that's gross. Damn, I really should have traded this one away. Hey, he's not even that high of an overall. He's a 72. My computer got me a 74 left guard, a 74 tight end, a 73 halfback. I'm in piss. I thought that that was the most elite pick ever. I'm so shocked at how bad that ended up being. Honestly, it was just a very weak class, though. Best player was a guard. He went to the Chiefs. Damn it. 
Next best player went to the Panthers. So these guys were in the Super Bowl. And the 2027 Super Bowl was a Chiefs-Eagles rematch, but this time the Eagles came out on top. There's been a lot of redemption for some teams here. Like the Niners got redemption and beat the Chiefs. The Ravens got redemption and beat the Niners. The Eagles got redemption and beat the Chiefs. I don't know. Kind of cool. Oh my God. 2028, we dominated. But I, I am a little nervous because our first round matchup is the Chiefs. And I, I, I mean, they made the Super Bowl every year. So this is a very scary first round matchup. But we went 13 and four. All right, gentlemen, let's take a look at your Raiders roster that has finally made the playoffs. Oh my God. What is going on? Meekins? This guy did not look good at all in the draft. Max Meekins is a superstar X Factor. Oh my, we have two X. We have to trade him. We have to trade him, bro. We have two superstar X Factor running backs right now. Or we just go crazy like the Lions. This is our Jameer in Montgomery. Nicholas Shepard's a 97. Denard Barker's a 95. Jamo's a 90. Saunders is an 87. Jacoby Myers is a 78. Brock Bowers is almost a 99. And the offensive line looks really good. Defensively, Max Crosby has not regressed that much. And we've got a playoff run, so that's awesome. Sanders looks great. Massey and Shields look solid. Morick and Craig Hobbs. Charvarius Ward and Bernard. And then on the D-line, we no longer have Christian Wilkins, but Dowling looks good. Moulton looks okay and Dunlap doesn't look great. It's a great team. It's just, you know, it's the Chiefs, so it's not easy. All right, let's see how the rosters are looking. So Bowers and Max are our best players. That's actually really cool because they're true Raiders. Nick Shepard from our first draft. Barker also from our first draft. So there's our top four. Charvarius Ward out of free agency. Powers Johnson and J-Mo looking good. Drew Sanders in the big trade. Jabari Yates was also a drafted player. So Saunders has just been great. Really shocked at how good he's been. I am going to play the moments against the Chiefs because these guys are just monsters. But I got to do some sim too. And I really want to watch this team play. So I'm going to take on the Chiefs here in the moments. And if I can get past them, I'm going to sim the rest of this playoff run. And we'll see if we can make it all the way to the Super Bowl. All right, opening drive. We've got a third and three. They're pulling me in to clean this up. Let's see if we can do it. I see. Was that JMO in the backfield? Oh my God, it was. JMO was just in the backfield. I don't know what formation that is, but that's awesome. Awesome. This is, remember, this is Bengals playbook. So I guess that's like Jamar Chase in the backfield. Bengals playbook. I completely forgot about that. Bengals playbook is why we're doing so well. That paid off big time. Nick Shepard with a broken ankle and his first and goal. Yeah, honestly, I think what might have been holding us back this whole time was Las Vegas Raiders offense. It just must not be a very good simulation offense. And I mean, that makes sense. I never really see the Raiders in the Super Bowl. Granted, their roster sucks too. So that could be part of it. Shepard bounces forward as much as he can. Now it's second and goal. Looking to strike first against one of the best teams in the league. Always. So this could be great here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Barker. Barker. Barker! Damn! They got a fat... Was that Leo Chanel? It was. Leo Chanel came out of nowhere. We did get two yards. Do they still have Chris Jones? Are we going to be able to power this forward? Nick Shepard. I need you, buddy! Hey! Almost stuffed by Leo Chanel, but he bounced the tackle. That's huge. KC gets seven. They don't let me come in on defense. But regardless, it's third and three. So it's time to make a play here. Oh, that could be a bad ball. Shepard caught it. Nick Shepard caught that. Now we're sitting in the red zone once again. First and 10. Ooh, great route. But the pass rush is a little too much. Not sure how I feel about any of this, but let's go find out. Jesus, the pocket is just collapsing on us. Seven to seven in the wild card. We need a really big play here. Hoping we can get man coverage. That's not man coverage, but I gotta... Oh, wow. He might have been there, but that's a really bad ball out of Denard Barker. We're gonna have to settle for this field goal. Uh-oh. That wasn't a very good kick. Is it gonna go in? <laughs> Just barely. Just barely goes in. We'll take it. KC scores again. Could I have a moment, please? I want to play a little defense. This is a close, close game right now. Second and five. I'm gonna hand this off to Nick Shepard. Chiefs are everywhere, man. They're, this is a great this is a great team that we're playing. All right, we got bench dagger on third and six. I don't really want to take another field goal, but we might have to. No, we don't have to because Brock Bowers makes a huge catch first and 10. JMO is 98 speed, right? Why don't we get our speed demon in the middle of the field? Jamison William. That's why I'm paying you 11 million a year for six years, buddy, to catch balls like that. And I do get to play a little defense. There's Mahomes and Pacheco in the backfield. Drew Sanders legacy defense right here. Yes, sir, Max Crosby. Yes, sir. Gets home. Mahomes goes down. They got to punt that. Whoa. Tell me how they just got 21 points. It was fourth and 15. Oh my goodness. Second and three now. Barker. 
Scrambling outside and asserting his dominance with a truck for no reason on Trent McDuffie. First and 10. There's Jamo on a nice little check down. He makes the catch. I have no idea how they got seven points, but I don't know if I want to know. We're going to go 26 duo to the weak side. I usually do like this play. Oh, it's money. Great downfield blocking. And Nick Shepard's in the end zone. Damn, this is a close game, dude. 24-21. Game on the line. First and 10. All right, Sanders, what do we got? Do they run this football? No, they don't. He's going to check this one down. And what? Just hit him in the back? Hey, death taxes and the Chiefs wide receivers are poverty. Second and 10. Play action here. He's going to throw. I was close, but not close enough to that. I could have I could have lurked that if I was a little less dog water. First and 10. A touchdown wins it for him. Field goal sends it into OT. Trayvon Morig sinking down. Mahomes makes a wicked throw. Jeez, that was nasty. Second one. Okay. Okay. Max Crosby again. Assisted by Trayvon Morig. We're sending blitzes, boys. Third and 10. They got a pass here. Get home. Get home. Oh. I missed the ball. I was so close to that, but not close enough. Now they're in no huddle. Okay, there's a check down. Isaiah Pacheco. What the fuck was that? Dude, sometimes in this game, you make contact with the air, and the game thinks you're making contact with the player. First and 10, 55 seconds. Mahomes is gonna step up. Let's get him to fumble. Oh, we just rocked him. Second and one, 48 seconds. Chiefs have got one timeout left. Oh, I'm there. Oh, I'm not there. Dude, I'm so close to these footballs. I'm so close. Yo, the clock just ran all the way down. Must have been on purpose. Yeah, see, they're actually having good clock management here. Mahomes is gonna step up, try and get in the end zone timeout. I think they're gonna win this game. What? Oh yeah, they don't have any timeouts. They kind of have to do this. Yeah, I was about to say, what are they doing? But no, they don't have any timeouts. All right, first and 10, we can throw up a Hail Mary though. And we got JMO, so we might as well try it. All right, let's let that pocket hold for a little bit. Actually, no, Barker, just put one up, buddy. Let's pray. DPI? Oh my God, there's a flag? Is it DPI? Oh, get shit on! Oh my god, the Chiefs! The Chiefs are gonna lose off of a DPI! We live in an alternate universe! This would never happen in real life! The Kansas City Chiefs are gonna lose to a DPI! Oh my god, it's the best feeling in the world. Do you know how many times that stupid-ass franchise has been bailed out by a real-life defensive pass interference, a phantom DPI? Yeah, you like that, Mahomes? Yeah, you like that, Mahomes? Yeah, you like that, Mahomes? That might be the most satisfying way to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. That was such a shit call, too. Like, actually, that was a shit call. Who's gonna call a DPI on Hail Mary that's 20 yards short of the end zone? Did I tell you what? That's just how tough the Chiefs are, though. Even with me playing all the moments, we barely got out of that game. We got past Superman. That's, like, the true gauntlet is being the Chiefs. Oh, my God, it's Greg Norris now. Oh, my God, it's Greg Norris now on the Cleveland Browns. This guy is a... Dog. All right, let me see this team. Just how good is Greg Norris? All right, he's literally a 99 overall in his second year. Okay, got it, buddy. Yes, you're good. Miles Garrett is still there. Mike Hall Jr. is a 94. They have Jameer Gibbs now. They still got Njoku and Owusu Karamoa. They got, oh, they got Lamar Lippitt. This is why they're balling. Lamar Lippitt. This is the guy. The 99 speed wide receiver. They got Jerry Judy, Denzel Ward, Jonathan Allen. They got Jonathan Allen. They got AJ Cole. He used to be with us. Uh, Nick Mason, a young corner. Yeah, this is gonna be a battle. All right, I gotta let the Sim play this one out. Dog, uh, Greg Norris. This guy's a legendary, legendary quarterback. A 99 overall in like his first season. Now, despite the superhuman Greg Norris, this has been a defensive divisional playoff game. It's second and two for Denard Barker. He's gonna check it down to none other than Nick Shepard. Now first and 10 in the fourth quarter. A couple good run plays. We really can put this game away. We are gonna pass though. I don't like that. Nick Shepard, see, that's why I don't like it, because the clock doesn't run when you throw that incompletion. You could burn a lot of clock here. Hopefully get a touchdown, maybe a field goal. Second and 10. Looks like they did pick up on my advice. Nick Shepard It's going to go for eight yards there, making this third and two. A lot of clock burns off. Now that's the question. Do you run this football? Do you pass it? Do you get aggressive? Two possession lead would put this away. But if you don't get it, the Browns got a lot of time. Third and two. A motion out of Nick Shepard. And our sim offense is going to get a delay of game. What the f what are we doing? Third and seven. Now we are definitely passing. I can tell you that. I see Jacoby Myers, Jamison Williams, Deion Saunders, Brock Bowers, and it's a... That's insane. You get a delay of game just to kick this field goal in the divisional, making this 13 to seven. You know, one thing I will say, we're playing really good football. I like Bengals offense, but we have consistently made very poor coaching decisions in the sim. 
which obviously we have no control over. But I mean, now the Cleveland Browns have three timeouts and more than enough clock to put together whatever kind of offensive drive they want. It's going to be up to our defense. Our defense is going to have to come up big. And let's see if they can do it. That's Greg Norris back there. Greg Norris stole the offensive rookie of the year from Drew Saunders. Or Deion Saunders. Apologies. Deion Saunders put up a ridiculous rookie career. 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns. But Greg Norris put up, what, 45 touchdowns and 11 interceptions on 4,500 yards. His rookie year. Finally, somebody's turning around for the Cleveland Browns. You know what? No matter who wins this game, there is a fan of a poverty franchise out there who's going to be really happy. Second and four, a minute left. Browns are looking really good right now. Norris is getting the ball out quick. He's always finding a man, but they have to get a touchdown. Only one timeout left. Best case scenario, a sack. But hey, we tackle him inbounds. I feel good about this too. Norris, sacked! That's what we need! They've got to burn their last time out. They do. They got no choice there. Now second and 18. Oh, this could be great. They might just run out of clock, straight up. Second and 18, 51 seconds, starting at their own 50. Yep, we love that. A check down over the middle, the clock is ticking. They lose 10, 11, 12, 13 seconds on that drive. Max Crosby, Max Crosby! Another check down, Greg Norris, check down Merchant. It's fourth and eight. This is the last play of the game. This is the last play of the game. There's only five seconds. Piss poor clock management by the Browns. And Norris checks down. What are you doing? You can't take the Cleveland Browns out of the man. That was a poverty franchise off and the Cleveland Browns won, which means the Las Vegas Raiders won the game. You know what I'm saying? 13 to seven, an ugly divisional win, but a win nonetheless. So Barker, 70% completion and a touchdown. It's nothing flashy, but he got it done. Gibbs was solid on the ground. So was Nicholas Shepard. Gibbs had a touchdown, three broken tackles. The Browns love to run the football. We know that. It was also the battle, you know, the battle of that draft class between Deion Saunders Saunders and Greg Norris, and Saunders gets the win. I'm happy for him. All right, a Sim W for the Raiders. Super ugly, but a W. The Bills went 14 and three. We went 13 and four. One thing I just realized, we did so amazing this season, I never checked our stats. Denard Barker, 4,635 and 11, a great season with that Bengals playbook. Shepard, 1,000 yards and 10. Awesome season. Saunders, 1,200. Myers, 1,000. Jamo, 1,000. Certainly got our tight end involved less, but wow, Jacoby, 1,013. That's crazy. Defensively, Drew Sanders put up another spectacular season. Max Crosby, still incredible. 13 and a half sacks. And uh, the younger guys, Moulton and Glenn Dowling were okay too. Lots of interceptions. Ben Massey, the auto pick. Sanders, two. Morig, two. Hobbs, one. Craig, one. Charvier, Award of one. Did we get any awards? Greg Norris won MVP. I'm so sick of Greg Norris. The real MVP. Wow, I'm not even in MVP voting. Oh my God. Max Crosby got fourth in defensive player of the year. Yeah, we really don't have any award winners. Oh no, we got best linebacker out of Max Crosby. Okay, whatever. We'll take it. What about this Bills roster? I'm sure they still have Josh Allen. Yeah, Josh Allen's a 99. Keon Coleman's a 98. Oh my God, Michigan State legend. I hate that it says his college is Florida State. He's at Michigan State first. Greg Rousseau is a 97. James Cook's a 93. Kincaid's a 90. Manny Howard. Ed Oliver. Junior Harrison. Chamari Connor. I don't know. This lineup isn't that. Oh, geez. They got Joey Bosa. They got a washed ass Joey Bosa. This is a weird lineup. I'm not that scared of it. I think we can win this game. The AFC Championship, gentlemen. Let's get it. Look at Josh Allen. Look at 99 overall Josh Allen. This is a pretty cool AFC Championship. It's our first time not having home field, and it's definitely, definitely cold out here. Damn. And for the first time, it's not particularly close. I feel like every game I've been sweating it out last second but a 10 point lead here and the ball that's buffalo's final possession or that's buffalo's final timeout so second and one if nick shepherd our absolute dog can get a single yard here this game's over nick shepherd there he goes he's gonna get more than a yard he's gonna get seven 14 rushes 72 yards that's gonna be victory formation as denard barker teleports through our center shoves his hands in his asshole and ends this ball game sorry if that was a little graphic and, but he's going to do it again. Look at him just teleporting through him. And then look at his hands. They just go really, they just go right through him. And just to be disrespectful, we snap the ball one more time. 24 to 14, the AFC Championship. That was, I mean, that was the easiest game we've had in a long time. The Bills were just not a good matchup for us. Honestly, 
on paper, that team was not very good. I don't know how they were 14 and three. Keon Coleman and Josh Allen were good, but other than that, they didn't have that much talent. And just like that, gentlemen, we've actually made the Super Bowl. I am so excited. Denard Barker, two touchdowns, 59% completion, no interceptions. He does not turn the ball over a lot, and that's what I like about him. Shepard had a great game with five yards per carry and a touchdown, four broken tackles. And once again, Jacoby Myers has been the guy. Jacoby Myers, a true OG Raider, so I'm glad about it. Although I guess he was on the Patriots before the Raiders, but whatever. Jamison Williams, five for 79 and a tutty. Beyond Saunders, the Filipino primetime, 53 yards and a touchdown. Take your bets, gentlemen. Who made it out of the NFC? Who am I taking on in the Super Bowl? <laughs> Oh, you're, you are lying your ass off. You're lying your ass off if you said it was this, the 9-8 and eight Seattle Seahawks. Look at this Super Bowl. The Las Vegas Raiders versus the Seattle Seahawks for the 2028 Super Bowl in Tampa Bay. What's going on? This is so weird. I'm really excited about it, but this is so weird. Let's take a look at this playoff bracket and see just how they did it. Uh, the Seahawks beat the Niners in the first round. Moved on to play the Dallas Cowboys. Barely beat them. Moved on to play the Philadelphia Eagles and crushed them. Damn, maybe I got to take this Seattle team serious. The box score, Stacey Thomas is their quarterback and he balled out. Kenneth, Wa oh, I forgot. Kenneth Walker in Sim is actually God. 21 attempts, 152 yards, 7.2 yards per carry and two touchdowns. He, I'm 100% sure he's a 99 overall, dude. He's so, so, so good in Sim. It all comes down to this, gentlemen. Let's take a look at the Seahawks roster first and foremost. Seattle's got 199 overall, and that's Kenneth Walker, 94 speed, 94 excel. He he always gets just wicked good. I mean, he is a Michigan State Spartan, so it makes sense, right? Look at K9. Byron Murphy the second, D tackle, rocking a 94 overall. TJ Watt is now on Seattle. He's a 93. A bit wash, but he's still there. Witherspoon's developed well. Jackson Smith and Jigba has developed well. Stacy Thomas, that's their quarterback. And auto-generated, but still a 91 overall. Tariq Willen looks great. Brian Tongue. Gotta love that name. 89 overall. DK looking all right. Nick Wiener! Nick Wiener! Nick Wiener! One year in the league and Nick Wiener's an 87 overall. Dude, what if Nick Wiener just rams it down my throat in the Super Bowl? 65260 out of Ohio State. I wouldn't even be mad if we lost to Nick Wiener, straight up. Like, what you gonna say about that? I, I mean, I don't know though. That's this team's not that good. In fact, I think if you compare us head to head, I think we should have the advantage here. Here is your Super Bowl Raiders roster. The number one best player on this team is a super developed Brock Bowers. In his fourth year in the league, he's a 99 overall superstar X Factor with a ridiculous amount of good abilities. Bruiser, steamroller, tireless runner, deep out elite, and grab and smash. Max Crosby, I thought he'd be so much more washed by now, but no, he is still incredibly, incredibly impactful. Inside stuff, no outsiders under pressure and edge threat with unstoppable force. Obviously, he's a captain and he, uh, he hopefully is gonna get a Super Bowl ring because he deserves it, man. He's stuck it out with this program for a long time. Here's Nicholas Shepard, a round two pick four in our very first draft looking incredible. One of the best running backs in the league. And here's our round one pick four, Denard Barker, one of the better quarterbacks in the league, probably in the top five. Let me take a peek. Is he? He is in the top 5% of quarterbacks. So yeah. 99 medium, 99 short. Still got 86 speed, 84 excel. It's got a little slower over the years. Charvarius Ward, our free agency signing. Drew Sanders in a big trade is now a superstar X Factor. One of the best trades we made by far for only a second round pick and a very aging Robert Spillane. We got Drew Sanders and he has just become an excellent, excellent player on this team. Powers Johnson has developed super well. JMO looking good. 90 overall. Still got that 98 speed. Gigantic contract on him though. I don't know that he was worth it, but we're in the Super Bowl. Jabari Yates, Deion Saunders, Colton Miller, Nate Hobbs, Keenan Craig, Andre James, Glenn Dowling, Trayvon Morig, Ben Massey, Deion Shields, Thayer Munford, Jeremiah Moulton, Jacoby Myers, and Max Meekins, which is crazy too, because Max Meekins, we could easily trade. We have two X-Factor running backs, but, but I mean, we might win the Super Bowl right now. So let's find out. I'm going to get one drive on offense, one drive on defense, and it's up to my team to close this out. We're an 87 overall. They're an 88. The biggest game in football, the Super Bowl. Nick Shepard, Jameson Williams. And there's Denard Barker. There's Kenneth Walker, Jackson Smith, and Jigba. And the two auto-generated QBs going at it in this Super Bowl. It's been since 1984, ladies and gentlemen. 45 years later, the Las Vegas Raiders are back in the Super Bowl. Somewhere out there, there's someone who started watching the Raiders when they were 20. Now, at the retirement age of 65, they can hopefully watch a Raiders Super Bowl. All right.
right, gentlemen. I can't take the Seahawks lightly. They're 9-8, and eight, but they're in the Super Bowl for a reason. It's first and 10, and on the opening drive, I got to find my playmakers. There's Brock Bowers for five yards. I got to get Shepard moving. Third and five. This is a little risky, but I'm running the football. Get to the second level. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's how you follow your blockers. One rush, 13 yards for Nick Shepard. I'd love to see that. Now first and 10, we got JMO on an island. Ooh, I wanted JMO. I looked at him for too long. And I'm gonna go down second and 19. Dude, this pass rush is really fast too. It's kind of scaring me. I do like to see press coverage on JMO though. Play action. He's got, oh my God, he got bagged. Holy shit, he just got clamped. I thought for sure J-Mo was gonna burn the man coverage. He does not. Third and 19, this is not looking good, but... Dude, the Seahawks own me. Denard Barker taking the worst angle you've ever seen. Seahawks are gonna take, this is not good. First and 10, they are just going to pound the rock to Kenneth Walker. You can just feel it. I gotta help my defense as much as I can. Look at Max Crosby. He's so good, man. He's so unbelievably good. Second and 15, I think they gotta pass this football. Let's get on Drew Sanders. He's gonna motion Kenneth Walker out. What's the play here for the Seattle Seahawks? He's gonna take a shot, Charvarius. Oh, that's risky. Guess he kind of threw that one out the back. Just being smart there. I'm going to send a blitz. I'm sending Sanders and Craig on third of 15. We got to force him to a field goal here. Oh, leak out to the tight end. Just tackle him inbounds. Beautiful. They're going to take the field goal. We only give up three here. And that's good. Dude, my offensive drive was pitiful. I got to let the sim take over. It's 17 to seven. We've got two turnovers already. Seattle's got one. But with a minute left in the second quarter, the Raiders can put something up here. Quick little pass into Jamison Williams. Now second and two. Once again, we're using our timeouts when we shouldn't be. Why are we calling a timeout? You're helping the Seahawks here. Let the clock burn. Denard Barker breaks a fucking tackle. <laughs> Psycho. I mean, he's still got to throw that ball away, but he just felt like playing hero ball. Now with 20 seconds left, it's third and six. We need the touchdown. Laser. Denard Barker, can I help you? You are so lucky that's not intercepted. This field goal will push this game to a seven point game. So we'll take it 10 to 17 against the Seattle Seahawks. It's a little scary out here. I'm not gonna lie. I'm happy to get up points though before half in the Super Bowl. After half, Seattle starts with the football. Dude, their run game is so good. The biggest fear here is they can just hand off Kenneth Walker and just dominate us. Can't let that happen. Stacy's gonna step up and almost just got hammered by Drew Sanders. But he slides down. He saves second and five. That's a play action, but look who got home. Oh my goodness, Glenn Dowling. Nobody blocked him. It's third and 12, it's gotta be a pass. One more time, Max Crosby, Glenn Dowling. Get home, gentlemen. Playing soft coverage here because they gotta get a lot of yards and look at this. The pass rush out of the Raiders is too good. Defense may save our weak offensive play. This is a punt out of Seattle. Flip the field pretty well. We'll start this drive on the 35. Need about 30 yards to be in field goal range here. And that's still a deep field goal. First and 10, opening play is a hospital pass to Deion Saunders. Filipino primetime, never forget. Second and 10, you know, I gotta say, we don't run the football almost ever. This Bengals playbook is pass, pass, pass. I guess it makes sense. Jacoby Myers showing that he's not washed. The old man still got something in him. Third and one, this is where you bring in Nick Shepard for one single yard. It's play action, are you crazy? Yes, you are. But it pays off. j -Mo gets 20. That was a risky-ass play call, but I love it. First and 10. Down by seven in the Super Bowl. Raiders looking to tie this up. There's a handoff. Nick Shepard, he's got a lot of room. Nick Shepard will rumble forward for six yards. That's only his third carry here. Kind of shocked. I'm not all too familiar with Bengals' playbook. That was only recently that we switched to it. We audible the five wide on second and four. What do you see? Dude, you are giving me a heart attack. This dude, Allen, is playing out of his mind, too. He might get Super Bowl MVP if we can't win this. Third and four. Huge, huge play. Denard Barker, quick one. Caught! Nick Shepard with a big catch. Now first and ten. I, I would really like to see a run play here. These passes are scaring me. No, it's still a pass, and it's another scary one, but he caught it! Jacoby Myers! The old man still got something in him. Jacoby Myers just caught a ridiculously tough catch. He got rocked on it. Hangs on, though. Tariq Woolen laid him out. A big PAT will tie this. I don't know if I've ever really seen a Miss PAT in a Madden Sim. So I feel very confident in this. Thank you. I'm glad I didn't announce your jinx. That's 17 to 17, a great drive for the Raiders. All right, Seattle, what do you got? Seattle starting to drive the 42. Yikes. First and 10. 
Hand off Kenneth Walker. He breaks his first tackle. Dude, he's going to break it the first time every time. Averaging almost 10 yards a carry. We got to stay on top of him. That is literally why we have Drew Sanders. Drew Sanders is the counter to Kenneth Walker. We need him to have a great game. Second and four. Big throw in to Kenneth Walker. Ben Massey makes the tackle. As long as we can get two bodies on Kenneth Walker every time, I think we can win this game. God, is he good. First and 10. It's play action, Kenneth Walker. There's a flag. I think it's a holding. There's an interception. Please, it's got to be a holding. If that flag's a defensive, oh my goodness, what is it? Penalty, holding, offense. That's going to be Raiders football. Connor Williams with a holding. Stacy Thomas throws a horrible interception. First and 10. What's the first play? It's another pass. It's a quick one. This time dropped. A rare drop today for Jacoby Myers. Defense just stepped up big time. 17 to 17. 53 seconds in the third quarter. Denard Barker to Nicholas Shepard. Nicholas Shepard is an elusive back, but he might be his favorite target today, not named Jacoby Myers. A quiet Super Bowl for Jamison Williams and Brock Bowers, what many people would consider our best receiving threats. And once again, it's Jacoby Myers. My goodness. Hey, listen, Brock Bowers and Jamo will always be there if we need them, but if we don't need them to win, no reason to force it. 17 to 17 in this Super Bowl. This could be a huge drive here. Starting on the 48 yard line, Denard Barker. Over the middle, Brock Bowers. Speak of the devil. Asking you shall receive seven yards for him. Second and three, what do we got now? Maybe a Nick Shepard handoff? Sure is. Nick Shepard. Gets around the edge. Great downfield blocking. He has been so effective with the very little handoffs he's gotten today. That might have been his only fifth carry. Now first and 10. Five minutes left in the Super Bowl. Motioning out Nick Shepard. Denard Barker's got five wide. Throws the check down. And look who it is. Dion Saunders. Filipino legend. All of the Philippines have tuned in. Manny Pacquiao released a tweet. I don't speak Filipino. I don't know what he said. And there's Jamison Williams. All right. Everybody's getting involved now. I think every single Raider has a reception at this point. First and 10. Four minutes left. I don't like passing here. I do not like this. It's 17 to 17. We're on the four. Please just don't turn the football over, Denard. Please hand this off to Nick Shepard. Oh, no. An audible to five wide. I do not like this. Second and four. Denard Barker, I trust. I trust. Oh, look who it is. It's Nick Shepard. The receiving touchdown to Nick Shepard gives the Raiders the lead in the Super Bowl. We are just grilling them with five wide. I gotta say, I've never used Cincinnati Bengals playbook, but I'm really liking it right now. A crucial PAT will make this 24 to 17. We have scored 14 points unanswered. The Seahawks desperately need a good drive here. Oh, I see. That is Denard Barker kicking the football off. Why on earth is my quarterback kicking the football off? No wonder they're returning it to the 30 plus every time. This is not high school football. Hey, whatever. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We're up by seven in the Super Bowl, right? Hey, good throw. I thought maybe we could pick that. That's it. That'll get your confidence back. He has been struggling these last couple drives. Just threw a 25-yard bomb, and he's throwing again. This time, a check down to Kenneth Walker, but he can't get it off. Raiders pass rush. I don't know that I've ever had pass rush so good. Max Crosby's a huge part of that. I swear he gets the quarterback every time. Quick check down. Oh, it's broken up. DK can't hang on to it. It's third and 10. Oh, my God. We could end the Super Bowl right now. Drew Sanders blitz up the middle. Got him, Drew Sanders. Now, 4th and 11, do you punt this football? I was about to say, you can't. Seattle's coming out, 4th and 11. This could be for the game. Stacey Thomas drops back, throws over the middle. <gasps> Almost intercepted, but honestly, a great deflection. You intercept that, it's basically an arm punt. That play also used the two-minute warning. Seattle has three timeouts, the 14 on inner points, and now it's Nick Shepard to end this ball game. And he gets 20 yards on the opening drive. It's not fully over, but it's so unbelievably close and he's got his X Factor activated. Nicholas Shepard just activated his X Factor in the Super Bowl. First and 10, we're passing? Denard Barker! Holy shit. We just stopped the clock for Seattle. Who wants to tell me why we threw that football? What are we doing? Wait a minute, now if we get stopped, now it's a totally different story. Holy shit, we just went for the kill. That was so bold. We're throwing again? What the fuck are you doing, Denard? Not even Denard, coach, what the fuck are you doing? We just threw a pick six. Somewhere deep in the Amazon jungle, three monkeys 
are currently coding Madden 25 sim logic. This, of course, is an upgrade because only two monkeys coded it for Madden 25. With a minute 50 in the Super Bowl and a seven point lead, Seattle having two timeouts, Las Vegas calls back to back pass plays and throws a pick six. I swear to God, every time I boot up this game, I see some diabolical shit I've never seen before. But guess what? It's still all tied up. Las Vegas has got three timeouts and Nick Shepard still has his X Factor. We need a legacy drive right now to get me in field goal range and win this football game. 24 to 24, Nick Shepard, X Factor activated. It's crazy too because our drive was so efficient prior to that. Every drive actually has been so efficient prior to that. Denard Barker. Out of bounds. No, that was in bounds? Oh my God, that was caught. That was caught out of bounds, stopping the clock. 24 to 24. Seattle's only got two timeouts. I mean, I'm not even going to say anything. I can't, I can't really tell my team what to do because they're just, it's very clear to me that coach is going to do whatever he feels like. So I just need to sit back and let them catch a W. I believe Raiders. Denard Barker sacked. Third and eight. Oh, we're gonna, we're not gonna convert this and we're gonna punt, aren't we? I think I'm gonna puke in my mouth when that happens. Seattle fakes the blitz, drops back. Denard Barker, check down. We're gonna punt. We're gonna fucking punt. Oh my God, we're going for it. 24 to 24, fourth and two. Coach has lost all his marbles. Coach is senile, but we're going for it. Over the middle, it's caught. And a broken tackle! Deion Saunders is rolling! Honestly, guys, I might have been generous. This game was developed by one singular monkey. A sad, lonely, old monkey. 24 to 24, one minute left. Las Vegas looking for a W here. Handoff, Nick Shepard. Left side, he's gonna take four yards. All of a sudden, it seems like maybe Las Vegas figured out what they should have done last time. Now second and six with 30 seconds left. I don't like this, it's a deep field goal. It's a pretty deep field goal. There's a counter handoff, Nick Shepard. He doesn't get much. It's third and five. This is a 48-yard game-winning field goal. Timeout Las Vegas with 20 seconds left. We hand the ball off one more time, call a timeout with three seconds left, and hopefully win this football game. Nick Shepard. Nick Shepard! Nick Shepard just made it an absolute breeze for the kicker. 24 to 24! Two seconds left. The Raiders have done everything to lose this game. And they still win it! Walk off game winning field goal for the Las Vegas Raiders! 27 to 24. That was one of the wildest endings I have ever seen. But give that man a ring. Who is Super Bowl MVP? Denard Barker had three touchdowns and three interceptions. He threw a pick six. Nick Shepard must have been really. I mean, who is Super Bowl MVP here? It might be a defensive player. I don't know. But, Gaddy, you just got to take this in. It's so fun to watch this. After a long rebuild, hoisting that trophy, Goodell handing it off. Denard Barker. Honestly, dude, it should be Jacoby Myers. It should straight up be Jacoby Myers. I highly doubt it will be. I don't think the game would like recognize that. But dude, Jacoby Myers was so clutch today. Although Max Crosby got home a lot of times too. It could be anybody. I'm really excited to see. So long as it's not Denard Barker, I'm a happy camper. Let's take a look at the head to head stats. Stacey Thomas was really bad today. A touchdown, two interceptions. Denard Barker, three touchdowns, three interceptions. Dude, he's literally Jameis Winston. Kenneth Walker was excellent. Shepard was excellent too. 8.6 yards per carry. And Nick Shepard had two touchdowns receiving. Five for 94. Four. It's going to be Nick Shepard. Saunders at 52. Metcalf at 40. Jacoby at 38. Yeah, it's going to be Nick Shepard. Defensively, we had one and a half sacks out of Dowling. One and a half out of Miles Murphy. One and a half out of Tongue. One out of Drew Saunders. Half a sack out of Max Crosby. An interception out of Nate Hobbs, Tariq Woolen, Charvarius Ward, Darren Allen, and Max Steele. It was a big turnover Super Bowl. Great game. Now, we got to see who Super Bowl MVP was. We got to see if we broke any Raiders records. And we got to see if we left this team in good hands. So we're not done. Yeah, 2028 season recap. It did make sense. The Super Bowl MVP goes to Nick Shepard. And we had a really unique Super Bowl. Seahawks Raiders. Amon St. Brown gets Offensive Player of the Year. Greg Norris gets NFL MVP. I have a feeling Greg Norris is just going to dominate the league for the next like five years. Denard Barker has a season record for Raiders with passing touchdowns of 35. That's our only season record. Single game record. We have none either. Rookie season, Denard Barker has pass yards and passing touchdowns. And Deion Saunders has touchdown catches and receptions. So our rookies did ball out. And rookie single game records. We only have one. And you'd never guess who it was. It was Dimitri St. Louis with 10 receptions. That actually feels like it's a low number. All right, gentlemen, it's time to sim an entire season to see if we left this team in good hands. Oh, 
Oh, that's crazy. We ran it back. In 2029, we ran it back. We did lose to the Philadelphia Eagles. Quinya Mitchell got Super Bowl MVP, but we ran it back. That's awesome. We lost 20 to 28, and then in 2030, it was Bengals Saints. It actually goes to show you that Bengals playbook's low-key really good. But um, yeah, ran it back. We definitely put this team in the right hands. So now we're two years in the future. What does the roster look like? That's awesome. It's really hard to run it back. I'm excited to see that. Um, We've got a X-Factor backup tight end and Brock Bowers is now a star. Nick Shepard's a 99. Barker's a 98. Yeah, let's put McDaniel at tight end. Defensively, Max Crosby's gone. That's so sad. Craig's a superstar. Sanders an X-Factor. Defense definitely got a lot worse, but we, dude, we ran it back to the Super Bowl. That's pretty lit. All right, boys. It's about time we retired from the league. Congratulations, Matt. Throughout your career, you're an incredible judge of talent. You weren't always the best at putting that talent to use? I won the Super Bowl, and then I ran it back. Whatever. GG's, gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.